the spacecraft was circling Mars, coming into the same orbit as the moons of Mars. And the last picture, about they got halfway through it. An unusual square structure on Mars? What's up with that? In 2014, an unusual discovery was made. While analyzing photographs taken by NASA's Curiosity rover on Mars, UFO researchers spotted a cigar-shaped object hovering above the Martian surface, an anomaly that has since fueled widespread speculation. The images, captured by Curiosity's right-hand navigation camera on May 4th, show what appears to be a long, cylindrical white object suspended in the Martian sky for approximately 16 minutes. We now have a set of data so extraordinary that it demands in the venue of any decent science simply testing the hypothesis. The problem is that there are some folks in NASA in charge of the next mission going back, specifically that camera I referred to, who seem less than overwhelmingly inclined to perform the simple test. They will not guarantee, strange as it may seem, that taking new pictures is on the Mars Observer agenda. Now this sighting has led many to question whether extraterrestrial activity is being observed near Mars, and if NASA is withholding key information about unidentified objects in the planet's orbit. Curiosity has been actively exploring Gale Crater since 2012, capturing thousands of raw images as part of its mission to study the planet's surface, atmosphere, and geological history. These images are transmitted to Earth for analysis, giving both scientists and independent researchers an opportunity to examine various aspects of the Martian environment. It was during one of these routine examinations that UFO enthusiasts noticed something unusual, a sleek, elongated object hovering in the sky, distinct from anything previously observed on Mars. The shape and appearance of the object immediately drew attention. Unlike the typical debris, dust particles, or camera anomalies that sometimes appear in space imagery, this object had characteristics suggesting it was something more structured. The cylindrical shape has frequently appeared in past UFO sightings, particularly those involving so-called cigar-shaped UFOs, which have been reported on Earth for decades. The fact that an object with similar features was now captured over Mars raised serious questions about the possibility of extraterrestrial activity near the planet. One of the most striking aspects of the sighting is that the object remained in the air for 16 minutes. If this were simply a camera artifact, an issue with lighting exposure, or an optical illusion, it would not have persisted for such a long duration. Additionally, given Mars' thin atmosphere and the absence of strong winds capable of keeping objects suspended in midair, the likelihood of this being natural debris seems low. Researchers argue that the object's presence, position, and duration suggest controlled movement rather than an uncontrolled environmental phenomenon. This isn't the first time cigar-shaped UFOs have been linked to space exploration. If the object captured in Curiosity's 2014 images is indeed an advanced craft, it raises several important questions. Why was it hovering over Mars? Was it monitoring the rover, or did it have its own purpose on the planet? Some researchers suggest that Mars, being one of the most Earth-like planets in the solar system, could attract interest from extraterrestrial visitors. If intelligent life exists beyond Earth, it would be logical for them to observe planets that hold potential for life or future colonization. The possibility that we're not alone in exploring Mars is both fascinating and unsettling. NASA has remained silent on the matter, offering no clear explanation for the anomaly. The agency has a long history of dismissing UFO-related findings, often attributing them to camera glitches, reflections, or natural occurrences. However, given the object's defined shape, prolonged presence, and structured appearance, these conventional explanations seem inadequate. The absence of an official statement has only fueled speculation that NASA might be concealing evidence of extraterrestrial encounters. Some believe the object could be space debris or a speck of dust on the camera lens, but these theories don't explain its sustained presence for over 16 minutes. If it were dust or a photographic artifact, it would likely appear in just one frame or shift unpredictably. Instead, the cigar-shaped UFO remained visible, behaving in a way that suggests it was a physical object hovering in Martian airspace. Another intriguing aspect of this sighting is the possibility that extraterrestrial beings are already monitoring Mars. Some theorists suggest that intelligent civilizations may have been observing our space missions for decades, ensuring that human activity in space doesn't interfere with their own operations. Now, if that were the case, the presence of the cylindrical UFO near Curiosity would make perfect sense. 
It could be a probe or a reconnaissance craft sent to track the rover's activities. This sighting also aligns with previous UFO reports near Mars, as well as claims from former NASA employees and astronauts who have hinted at unusual encounters in space. Over the years, multiple images from various Mars missions have captured unexplained lights, hovering objects, and even structures on the planet's surface. While NASA typically downplays or ignores these findings, the sheer number of anomalies suggests there may be far more happening on Mars than we're being told. With new Mars missions and advancements in imaging technology, researchers anticipate that even more evidence could emerge in the coming years. Space agencies like NASA, ESA, and SpaceX continue to send rovers and probes to the Red Planet, increasing the chances that another unidentified craft might be captured on camera. If intelligent extraterrestrial beings are indeed observing Mars, the possibility of a future encounter or more concrete evidence becomes even greater. The 2014 sighting of a cigar-shaped UFO near Mars remains one of the most debated pieces of evidence for extraterrestrial activity beyond Earth. Its distinct structure, prolonged visibility, and resemblance to other documented UFOs make it difficult to dismiss outright. Whether this was an alien aircraft, an unidentified space vehicle, or something beyond human understanding, one thing is certain. Mars remains a location filled with mysteries that challenge explanation. As more images and data from Mars missions continue to emerge, the world may soon have to confront the reality that we're not alone, and perhaps never have been. Strangely, this was not the first time an unusual object has been seen near Mars. The Phobos II mission is considered one of the most perplexing and controversial space explorations in history. Launched in July 1988, it was the second Soviet spacecraft sent to examine Mars' enigmatic moon, Phobos. The mission's primary objectives included studying the Martian atmosphere, surface, and Phobos's gravitational properties. However, what took place in March 1989 would overshadow the mission's scientific goals and become one of the most debated UFO encounters in space exploration. On March 27, 1989, just months before Phobos II lost contact with Earth, the spacecraft captured a series of striking images. Among them was a photograph that would spark intense speculation and debate. A long, cylindrical object hovering above the Martian surface, unlike anything previously observed in space. The object had a smooth, structured appearance and cast a clear shadow on the Martian ground below. The alignment, shape, and size of the shadow suggested that this was not an optical illusion or a naturally occurring celestial feature. Instead, it appeared to be a solid, physical object. The presence of this cigar-shaped UFO immediately raised questions about what Phobos II had encountered. Its elongated form didn't match any known asteroid or geological feature on Mars. Unlike typical space debris or celestial objects, which tend to rotate or drift unpredictably, this object appeared to maintain a stable, controlled position. Some researchers have pointed out its resemblance to other cigar-shaped UFOs, reported throughout history, both on Earth and in space. The fact that an unnamed spacecraft orbiting Mars captured such an image only deepened the mystery. What happens next remains the most puzzling part of this encounter. Shortly after transmitting these images to Mission Control, Phobos II suddenly and unexpectedly lost contact. The spacecraft had been operating normally up until this moment, leading to speculation that its encounter with the unidentified object may have played a role in its abrupt disappearance. Some researchers have suggested that Phobos II may have been intentionally disabled to prevent further transmission of images. Whether this was the result of an external force or an unknown phenomenon is still a subject of debate. At the time, the Soviet Space Agency didn't provide a clear explanation for the loss of Phobos II. While technical failures are always a possibility in space missions, it's unusual for a spacecraft to go silent immediately after capturing an unexplained anomaly. Now, this sequence of events led some to speculate that the spacecraft may have been interfered with by an unknown intelligence. To this day, the exact cause of Phobos II's failure remains classified and unresolved. Adding to the mystery, Russian scientists involved in the mission later hinted at the possibility of an external force playing a role in the failure. During a press conference, Soviet space officials admitted that something unusual had occurred, but refrained from making definitive statements about what had actually caused the spacecraft to stop functioning. Some reports suggested that images taken before contact was lost were analyzed privately, fueling suspicions that more information exists than has been publicly shared. One of the most intriguing aspects of this case is its connection to other UFO encounters in space. 
Over the years, astronauts from both NASA and the Soviet space program have reported seeing unidentified objects in orbit. Many of these objects share the same elongated cylindrical shape seen in the Phobos II images. Some theorists suggest that these objects are not random anomalies, but rather part of an ongoing extraterrestrial presence in space, monitoring human activities beyond Earth. The location of this encounter is also significant. Phobos, the Martian moon that the spacecraft was sent to study, has been a subject of speculation for decades. Some scientists have proposed that Phobos may not be a natural moon, but rather a hollowed-out artificial structure. It exhibits unusual orbital behaviors, and radar scans have suggested irregular internal compositions. If there's any truth to the idea that Phobos is more than just a natural satellite, then the presence of an unidentified object near it becomes even more meaningful. Many researchers consider the Phobos II incident one of the strongest pieces of evidence suggesting that we're not alone. The distinct shape of the object, the fact that it cast a clear shadow, and the spacecraft's mysterious failure immediately after capturing the image all indicate that it was not a simple mechanical issue or natural event. If Phobos II had failed solely due to technical problems, there would be no reason to connect its loss with the appearance of the cylindrical UFO. However, the timing of events and the unusual nature of the object in the image make this one of the most puzzling encounters in space exploration. To this day, NASA and other space agencies have not officially addressed the Phobos II UFO images, nor have they provided explanations that fully satisfy the questions raised by researchers. The secrecy surrounding this case has only deepened speculation. Was Phobos II's transmission deliberately disrupted to prevent the world from seeing something we weren't meant to witness? As space exploration technology continues to advance, the chances of encountering similar objects in the future remain high. Private space companies like SpaceX are now conducting their own Mars missions, meaning that more eyes than ever are observing the Martian surface. If something is truly out there, it may only be a matter of time before more evidence comes to light. The Phobos II incident serves as a reminder that space remains a vast and largely unexplored domain. While scientific missions aim to uncover the universe's mysteries, there may be forces at work that we do not yet fully comprehend. The sighting of an unidentified structured object near Mars, captured by a government spacecraft before its sudden disappearance, is a case that warrants further investigation. Until more information emerges, Phobos II and its final transmission will continue to be one of the most puzzling UFO mysteries in history. UFOs appearing in images from Mars is not a recent phenomenon. Over the years, NASA's rovers and orbiters have recorded multiple anomalies that have sparked debate among researchers and UFO enthusiasts. The Curiosity rover, Perseverance, and earlier missions like Viking and Spirit have all captured strange objects in the Martian sky resembling classic UFO shapes, including orbs, disks, and cylindrical forms. These sightings have led many to believe that Mars is under active observation by unknown entities. Despite NASA's explanations, which attribute these anomalies to dust particles, reflections, or image distortions, the recurring nature of UFO-like objects in Mars images raises serious questions. Mars has always been a planet of mystery. Over the years, scientists and space agencies have made discoveries that challenge what we thought we knew. Some findings suggest Mars was once much more like Earth, while others hint that something, or someone, might be watching. With every new mission, the evidence piles up, and the questions only grow louder. NASA's rovers and orbiters have captured strange lights flickering on the Martian surface. Some images show small glowing spots that seem to appear and disappear. Scientists often say these lights are reflections from rocks or cosmic rays hitting the camera. But when the same kind of lights keep showing up in different places, people start wondering if there's more to the story. If they were just glitches, why do they keep happening? Could they be signs of underground activity or something even more unexpected? Strange structures have also been found on Mars images. Some look like pyramids, while others resemble buildings that have been worn down over time. Most experts believe that these are oddly shaped rocks formed by wind and erosion, but their symmetry makes it hard to ignore the possibility that they were shaped by intelligent hands. If Mars once had life, could these be the remains of an ancient civilization? Some researchers have compared these formations to ruins found on Earth, pointing out similarities that are difficult to explain as coincidence. Water is a key part of the search for life, and Mars has plenty of evidence that it was once covered in rivers, lakes, and even oceans. 
the Curiosity rover found smooth, rounded pebbles, something that only happens when rocks are carried by flowing water. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter detected dark streaks that appear and fade with the seasons, suggesting water might still exist just beneath the surface. If there's water, there's a chance for life, even if it's only microbes hiding underground. Some scientists believe bacteria-like organisms could still be alive in salty patches of soil, surviving in extreme conditions just like microbes do in Earth's harshest environments. The mystery deepens with methane detections. On Earth, methane is often produced by living organisms, though it can also come from geological activity. The Curiosity rover has measured bursts of methane in Mars's atmosphere, but the source remains unknown. If the methane comes from underground life, it would be one of the biggest discoveries in history. Some scientists suggest Mars might still have geothermal activity, which could also explain the methane, but no one knows for sure. The fact that methane levels rise and fall in a pattern raises even more questions. If this was just a random chemical process, why would it happen at certain times instead of constantly? Mysterious sounds have also been recorded on Mars. NASA's Perseverance rover, which carries microphones, has picked up strange noises that don't always match expected sources, like wind or mechanical movements. Some sounds are lower than what human ears can hear, while others are sharp and sudden. These recordings help scientists understand how sound travels in Mars's thin atmosphere, but they also raise some questions about what might be causing unexpected noises. Could underground activity be creating them? Or is there something on Mars producing sounds that we haven't identified yet? Mars has two small moons, Phobos and Deimos. But Phobos in particular has puzzled researchers for decades. Its orbit is unusual, and some studies suggest it might be hollow, or at least have strange internal structures. This idea has fueled theories that Phobos might not be a natural moon at all. Some radar scans have hinted at unexplained materials beneath its surface. If it turns out to be something artificial, it would change everything we know about space exploration. Some scientists think Phobos might be a captured asteroid, but the way it orbits Mars doesn't fully match that theory. If it's not an asteroid and not a normal moon, well, then what is it? Space agencies are preparing for the next step, sending humans to Mars. NASA, SpaceX, and other organizations are working on technology to land astronauts on the Red Planet. The goal isn't just to visit, but to stay, build shelters, and explore the surface for long periods. The biggest challenge is surviving in an environment that's harsh and unpredictable. Mars has dust storms that can last for months, extreme cold, and radiation levels that could harm human health. Scientists are testing ways to grow food, create oxygen, and build habitats using Martian materials. If humans can find a way to live there, it could be the first step toward making Mars a second home. Some researchers believe Mars might already have life, just not the kind we expect. Instead of little green men, there could be tiny organisms hiding beneath the surface, protected from harsh radiation and extreme temperatures. Some experiments on Earth show that certain bacteria could survive in Martian conditions. If similar life forms exist on Mars, it would prove that life isn't unique to Earth. The next big mission, the ExoMars rover, will drill deep into the ground to search for signs of past or present life. If anything is found, it could change how we see the universe. Beyond scientific missions, there's also the question of whether something is already watching us. Some believe that the strange objects caught on camera, the unexplained lights, and the unusual signals picked up in space all point to an extraterrestrial presence. Governments and space agencies rarely discuss these topics in detail, leading some to believe that more is known than is being shared. If there is intelligent life out there, what's their interest in Mars? Are they observing from a distance, or have they been there all along? Mars has fascinated humans for centuries, and with every new mission, its mysteries only grow deeper. Whether it's strange objects in the sky, unusual sounds, or the possibility of ancient ruins, there are too many unanswered questions to ignore. As technology advances, future explorers might finally get the answers we've been searching for. If there's life, intelligent or not, it's only a matter of time before the truth comes to light. Until then, Mars will remain a planet of endless possibilities, waiting for us to uncover its secrets. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below, and please subscribe for more content.